Roblox is removing chat, they're trying to remove gears, they added a really cool new API, and just so much more stuff that I want to talk about after I ask you to subscribe, okay? Because for every one sub I get, I'll pet my cat, all right? But either way, let's get on to the first story, which just happens to be a new item that came out that is not that cool. To be honest, it's worth mentioning because it's probably going to be one of those like, buy a certain amount of Robux and you'll get a free item with it. But basically this, it's these clockwork golden shades. And obviously the reason I think these are going to be like, one of those free Roblox item thingamajigs is because we've gotten the headphones before, in the same way, like they costed $100 though, and I assume these are gonna be the same thing. Yeah, they look pretty cool, and people are super duper excited about it, and honestly, they look really cool in game. Usually these gold items kind of have some weird like lighting issues, but dude, it looks fire sauce, bro. Here's like a cool picture that I saw from Lucas, but yeah, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty cool, it looks pretty nice. I like it, I like it, but one funny thing about this is that yesterday when they uploaded the item, the texture for it was deleted for a couple of hours. I think it's obviously been fixed by now, I can't really check right now, but I, I assume it's been fixed because it's been like 24 hours since it got broken, and uh, yeah, I don't know, pretty funny, but now we can move on to the next story. which just happens to be a small update that is going to change Roblox in a pretty big way. Because Bloxy News tweeted out this background downloads are now live on desktop devices, Roblox will now install updates even if you aren't actively running the client, which is pretty cool. This was announced at RDC, so we all kind of knew this was coming sometime like soon, and, and it seems like it was a lot sooner than I expected to be honest, because yeah, it's out now. And if you try and launch Roblox, you should no longer see this screen anymore. You might see it like once or twice from this point forward. But I assume like in a couple weeks or like a month, that screen will be completely defunct. Like you will not be seeing it anymore, which is kind of crazy to think about. Honestly, pretty good update. It got a lot of likes on Twitter. It makes sense. Uh, yeah, I'm surprised this hasn't been a thing on Roblox already. I don't know. But without further ado, we can now move on to the next story. which just happens to be something that is also a little update to a preview video because in my last last video I think it was I talked about Roblox apparently getting hacked because a t-shirt was uploaded to their account by someone that was not Roblox. Now this was never really like formally addressed by anything or anyone but it seems like Roblox has noticed this mishap and they have fixed it because now if you go to that same t-shirt it is now made by the person that originally uploaded it instead of Roblox. Yeah, I do assume it was some sort of glitch. It wasn't like meant to happen. I don't even think the person that uploaded the t-shirt meant for it to be on Roblox's account. It was just completely a glitch that I don't know should not have happened honestly. That's kind of funny. I think that's the best outcome to this situation to be honest. And now if you go to the t-shirt again it's not under Roblox's name. And yeah, it's not a big deal to be honest, but now we can move on to the next story. Which just happens to be the Accessory Adjustment API. So this is something that a lot of people were like confused about when it initially got tweeted, but basically Bloxy News tweeted out this. The Accessory Adjustment API is now available, giving hash Roblox creators the ability to let users adjust accessories on their avatar directly within an experience with a thing that says learn more and then a dev forum post where you can go to it and just see what's going on here now. A lot of people saw this and they were like, dude, are you late? The accessory adjustment thing has been out for like a month now, what are you talking about? But basically what this all means is that developers now can use the API to adjust stuff in game. So for example, one big example is catalog avatar creator will now be able to let players adjust their uh, stuff in their game and then save it to Roblox instead of having to do it in the Roblox app, if that makes any sense, which is pretty good. I, I'm super excited to see how developers implement this into their game. If you were confused about why this is like a new thing, apparently, that's why it is new. It is actually new, despite what you may think. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's it with that one. And now we can move on to the deep and terrible stories. Okay, with the first one being DSA, because if you don't know in Europe, Roblox is required to have a certain report form, and for some reason yesterday it was completely down now. I'm not sure if it is still down as of this recording because obviously I don't live in Europe, I can't check, but I can tell that the link is still valid because if I go to it, it says this, it says the form is not accessible in your region. If you would like to file a report, please visit the support form. So it does seem like this link is still in use by Roblox, but I've seen a lot of people in Europe saying that they can't access this page anymore 
I assume it is some sort of a glitch because this is like a legal requirement for being in the UK or in the USA, sorry, so Roblox can't just like remove this willy-nilly like they need to have this on their website or else they will get like shut down in the EU, I believe, so yeah, that I don't know, it's weird, but I saw a lot of people complaining about it, like here's a Xena tweet that says the Roblox DSA has mysteriously disappeared. I submitted a ticket a few hours before which was then left unanswered by them, which is also very interesting, so even if you get to this form and you submit something, the chances of someone actually replying to it are extremely slim, which, uh, is kind of worrying, but obviously this is the day ago, this probably could have been fixed by now, it has actually no, it was two days ago, so per chance it could be fixed by now, I just can't really test it myself. Because again, I'm not from the EU, if you're from the EU, maybe test it out yourself and tell me in the comments, because I'm actually super duper curious. You know what else I'm curious about Gears and what's happening with Gears because for the longest time Roblox has not released a gear, I think it's been over like 5 years now, and yesterday they updated the games page to not have the allowed gear section anymore, which I guess could be for simplicity's sake, like maybe Roblox just thought it looked ugly and, you know, gears aren't really used as much anymore so they removed it but also this could maybe have a deeper meaning. Maybe Roblox is genuinely trying to get rid of gears, I mean by default gears are not enabled on games, the little allowed gear icon is no longer on game pages anymore, and they haven't made a gear in years, so a lot of people are starting to speculate that this whole gear fiasco might be gears completely being removed from the website, but in my personal opinion, I don't think that can happen because so many people have spent actual millions of Robux on gears. And if Roblox removes them completely, that'll suck alright, but what I do think is that Roblox is definitely really 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 trying hard to deprecate them completely from the website and hopes that nobody ever uses them ever again. I assume that this whole update here is a part of that, which honestly uh, sucks, but honestly again gears weren't really enabled by default on any games, which is kind of sad. But, you know what else is sad Roblox? Removing the chat feature in some way shape or form. Okay, so Roblox is actually removing the chat box but not in a way that you might think. So here's a tweet that's not in English, but let me translate it that says Roblox's old chat model will be removed on the 30th of April 2025, leaving only the modern version of it. The reasons are unclear, but something is mentioned about standardizing the system so that Roblox can more easily modify it to comply with local laws. So I guess yeah this is some sort of thing that Roblox wants to put in play so they can have any legal issues like with Turkey and whatnot as well as just for simplicity's sake because the new text chat service is better than the old one but it does just kind of suck because a lot of games do run on the old text chat and this could potentially break them. Like for example, one game that I know for a fact uses this old chat system is Lapability Gravity, Obby, and the reason they use the old chat feature is because it's easier to do certain things with it, and it just kind of sucks because a lot of stuff that you would use with the old chat doesn't work with the new chat, so developers will actually have to go into their games if they use their chat in any like meaningful way, and they will have to patch it, which is kind of annoying, and honestly that's going to leave a lot of games just broken because they use the old chat. But, staying on the topic of messages and chat messages have finally been removed from Roblox just about a month after they initially announced its removal. As you can see a couple days ago everybody was talking about sending their last messages on Roblox because they were being removed on that same day. And yeah if you went on Twitter that day you could see a lot of people just like being really sad that they were going. But also a lot of people being kind of happy because they were mostly filled with scams. Here's one tweet about it from Bloxy News that said, Today user to user messaging on Roblox has been removed. Your message inbox will continue to house important updates and notices directly from Roblox with a screenshot of their message box, I guess. And yeah, you can see that the message box is no longer able to be sent from, I guess, which uh, kind of sucks, but we knew this was coming anyways for the last story. We have a new hat that Roblox released and it uh, kind of sucks, so this got leaked a while ago. Um, you've probably seen it if you watched a couple videos about the haunt before it released because it was one of like the first leaks to ever come out about the haunt and it seems like it was actually a real item. I kind of predicted that it was going to be just a test item but now it was real and they retextured it and now it looks like this and 
uh, you might be like, why is this drama? Why is this a big deal? Well, it's, it's 10,000 Robux. So that's why people are complaining about the price because it is absolutely insane now. To be honest, I think this is a second version of an item that already exists that looks the exact same. It just has a different text and that one was worth a lot of Robux too. So this isn't like something that Roblox is messing up or anything like the previous version of this item was also super expensive. Oh yeah, I mean it's whatever, but a lot of people are saying it's crazy because it's very very expensive.